about all day. It's all we talked about before the game was keeping them off the glass. They had 20 offense rebounds. I rebounded us by eight. Um, obviously, our turnovers. Then they had 25 points off our turnovers. So they had almost 50 points on second chance and turnovers, 62 in the paint. They were the aggressor. They were the more physical team. And uh, really disappointed in terms of our effort and our approach tonight. Do you think it's just overlooking uh, your plan or not taking them seriously? Or what do you think? I have no idea. You know, um, we had a chance to, uh, to clinch number one tonight. And we talked about it this morning, you know, the opportunity at hand. Uh, and we definitely did not take that opportunity seriously because the way we played tonight was uh, it's unacceptable playing like that this late in the year. If that's how we're going to play, we'll be out in the first round. Easy. Easy. There was uh, this morning, or there, was there any indication that, that the guys might come out with lackluster uh, effort? Uh, you walk around in a ballroom. You can't, you can't tell anything in that situation. So last time we were here, we had the proper mindset, proper approach. Uh, obviously, Jamal went out with the injury, uh, did not return. That's always makes it harder. But whether Jamal's in there or not, what, what does that have to do with them getting 20 offense rebounds for 22 points? You know, is Jamal going to get 19 defensive rebounds? So the guys that were available, we didn't get the job done, myself included. You know, this is not me against my players. This is us winning together, losing together. And we as a collective unit did a poor job tonight. Do you have an update on Jamal? Not yet. No, I got to talk to our trainer, see, see where it's at. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. And, you know, uh, with three games to go, obviously we'll, we'll try to be as smart as we can with it. Do you say something? Do you need the players to say something after a game like this? What, what do you hope happens in the afternoon? Well, I'm definitely going to say something. You know, that's my job as a head coach. You know, I'm not going to you know, just say, hey, it's OK, guys, bring it in. No, that's BS. You know, um, you know, when we don't do our jobs, there's accountability. And I speak the truth. And, I, and me calling a, a, a soft tonight isn't something I'm saying to you. I just told our team that. And I dared somebody to challenge me that it wasn't true. And no one did, because we as a group were soft tonight. That, I'm not saying we are soft, but tonight we were. Um, but when I came in there, I think you know a couple of vets, you know, uh, were saying stuff, and that's great. To, great. It's not always on me. The players take ownership. We're in this together. And when you have veterans willing to step up and speak, you know, uh, you hope that it's impactful. How would you evaluate uh, Nicole's first game back after three missing three? Yeah, I thought he struggled. You know what I mean, obviously, uh, it's you know being out for three games, rhythm, confidence. You know, um, obviously, let me see. You know, turnovers, you know, we had 20 as a team. I think he had eight of them. So um, he set the bar very, very high. And obviously, uh, you know, tonight was the first game back, trying to get into a rhythm. But I know he can be, as well as everybody else on our team that played, uh, we can all be a lot better than we were. Thank you. All right, appreciate it.